This is uh, problem 40 from chapter 30. How many nuclei of uranium-238 remain in Iraq if the activity registers 275 decays per second? What are we going to need to know about uranium-238? It's half-life. There we go. And the best way to do that is look it up in the table, maybe. Let me see. Uranium-238 has a half-life of four and a half billion billion years. And almost all of uranium is uranium-238. Some of it, 0.72% is uranium-235 naturally occurring. Probably like Utah numbers. And those will vary, uh, I believe by location, but I could be wrong. Okay, so uh, that's all we need to know is that the half-life is, uh, 4.468 times 10 to the ninth years, right? And then I believe what we can use is the notion that activity is lambda n. That's what it is, yeah? Okay, now here's the problem. Can we, can we keep this in years for this? No, because this is decays per second. If they gave us decays per year, we could do it, but we can't, right? So we've got to turn that into seconds, right? So let's go uh, 365.25 roughly, right? Okay, that's years. How many seconds in a year, right? Okay, uh, days times 24 times 3,600. Does that do it? a lot of seconds. Or we can go to Google, right? Does your calculator have seconds in a year? <laughs> so it's 365 and a quarter roughly, right? It's like one hundredth off of that. So we're, okay, uh, times 24 times 3600. Well, that's a lot of seconds in a year. So this is, this is the half-life is 1.40. I'm going to say 1.41 is close enough, right? Times 10 to the 17th seconds is the half-life. That's a lot of seconds, right? Okay, and then um, now we're all set because the lambda is going to be natural log of 2 divided by that, right? So I'm going to raise that to the negative 1, multiply by the natural log of 2. And the decay probability is vanishingly small, right? There is eighteenth. This is the probability per second, right? Okay, so if 275, I'm using this formula now, right, is lambda times n, then I guess we divide 275 by that very small number. So 275 divided by the answer I just got is a lot of atoms nuclei I'll say nuclei not atoms right is that very is that very much of it it's not very much that's a lot of at nuclei right but how many grams would that be how would we turn that into grams it doesn't ask us to but how would we do that would we divide by Avogadro's number well yes we would Right, so that turns out to be about uh, nine, one ten thousandth of a mole, roughly. Yeah, and then we multiply that by 238 because that's got to be a close to the mass of uranium, right? So I'm just going to, I'm not going to look it up uh, if I was being accurate. That is 0 0.02 grams of it, it would be 275 counts a second. Yeah, so that is, and by the way, that is what's going on when we do when I do uh, this, these yellow rocks in here are almost certainly uranium ore, right? And so that's what's going on is that 
you know, it's a lot per second. These things are not 100% efficient. We're not getting 275 counts per second because it's not 100% efficient because um, it's only getting the ones that go sort of upward through the detector. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there we go. Now, it's, that's how many are, are left undecayed, right? Yeah, it's decaying at that rate. How long is it gonna keep going? This minus 275 is what? About like that, yeah? <laughs> right, so that's why, that's why these rocks these rocks were probably created, I don't know, how old are rocks in the Earth's crust? Generally, they're, they're, they're fairly young. I mean, I don't know what, I, I'm not a geologist, right? Not as old as the Earth, right? But they could be as old as four and a half billion years, right? And that's why they're, they, they keep going. They're, they just keep going, yeah? You know? Because remember, the Earth's crust is constantly recycled, yeah? So old, old rocks are not that old. Because the Earth is like this dynamic thing, right? Certainly, a uh, crust, ocean crust, is not very old because it's constantly being it's formed in the middle, and it's this conveyor belt. It's being subducted at the edges, formed in the middle. It's a crazy thing.